came into their meeting with Nantes looking to put an end to a six-match winless run in the league. The visiting Canaries were eight places above the hosts coming into the weekend. The pair were separated by just four points. A very tightly packed mid-table. Mid-table perhaps a little generous of a description of Le Grenat who occupied the relegation playoff spot in 16th after that run without a victory which wasn't even able to be put to bed after they took the lead against bottom side Lyon in the 77th minute last time out. But after back-to-back -back draws, the next step was to secure that elusive victory and they made the perfect start if they were to do so, taking the lead with under three minutes on the clock. Mathieu Udo's delivery turned in at the back post by Kevin van den Kirchhoff. Two minutes, 25 seconds on the clock to be precise. Their joy was short-lived, however, as Nantes hit back almost instantly. Nicolas Palois with the delivery, which was turned in at the near post this time by Moses Simon. Palois, an unlikely creator, his first assist in over five years. But Simon, a familiar finisher. That is 25th top-flight goal for Nantes. He's been involved in just under half of all the Canaries' goals so far this campaign. But as quickly as the host joy had been extinguished, it was reignited. Abli Jallo threading a perfect ball through for Simon Elizor, who took his time before firing Mess back into the lead. A beautiful ball through. The Nantes defenders hoping for an offside flag, but it wouldn't be forthcoming. So 2 1 at half time. The break probably coming at a good time for Mess, who had been starting to come under a little pressure late in the first half but they came out looking far more solid after the restart. And they were a whisker away from a stunning third. The ball played to Danley Jean-Jacques, whose thunderous effort crashed back off the crossbar. The Haitian is close to securing the first goal of his career in the utmost style. They were almost left ruining that misfortune moments later when Simon went up the other end and forced a stop from Alexandra Ukija. Eventually cleared. A double chain from Laszlo Berlini, Kevin Enduram and Joel Asoro introduced for the final five minutes. About one minute later, the latter would make for a far more comfortable end to the game. So much space. And it exploited by the number 99, who made 99% sure that mess would claim all three points. So much space in the area. And Asoro able to pick his spot. And that final 1% would be added on soon enough. Mess move all the way up to 11th and the reasonable safety of mid-table. Now just two places behind the team they beat on the day.